So what do we do about these 100 videos that don't display the Mario footage in nice little rectangles? Broadly, they fall into three classes. We got your typical curved CRT footage recorded with either a tripod or some other solid mounting spot. We got your flat screen videos, also with a steady recording. And then your other footage. Unfortunately, this third sort of footage is not usable. We're going to do our best to include both the curved and the flat screen videos through a series of transformations and filters, but this stuff is unfortunately not going to be included. Now, some months ago, I had played around with morphing CRT footage like this with a Bezier mesh. Essentially, we can define these 16 control points, and then for each output pixel, we calculate some weighted combination of input pixels. This is kind of fun to mess with, and the results are mostly workable. The output quality is heavily dependent on the input footage. Remember, garbage in is garbage out. Also, defining these meshes is a little tricky and quite tedious. Everything is interrelated, so you need to kind of go in circles iteratively refining the mesh. Discord members Cook IT and 108 Pi helped a bit with this. Now, I was honestly about to go ahead with defining input meshes even for the second kind of footage, but Discord member Slither1 pointed out the perspective transform in FFmpeg. And after a little tinkering, we got it set up to transform this footage by defining only four points. This is much easier, and the calculation is not that bad. Just some linear algebra, which is always an extremely welcome place to be, let me tell you. Of course, getting this footage into a rectangle might not be enough. For some of the runs, parts are cut off, and others are still just a little wonky even with all of this effort. It's extremely possible that this footage is too low quality to have a good showing in the final video. But there is another avenue currently under investigation. Former Tide world record holder and extremely accomplished speedrunner Lukuki has recreated several of the fastest runs done on CRTs as FM2 files already. Lukuki has used his tassing abilities and extensive knowledge of the game to painstakingly define the button presses on each frame. For this, we should all be extremely grateful to Lukuki, as now his and several other runs can be perfectly represented. Once again, consider joining the Discord server if you'd like to help out. I'm constantly amazed by the knowledge and can-do attitude that you guys are bringing to the table here. Everyone is welcome, and you can even help with the current task of defining where in the Mushroom Kingdom each frame is. The next devlog will discuss our first neural network, which we trained up to classify all 16 million input frames into three different categories. This video series is unfortunately a bit behind reality at this point. I was out of town, and I took a little bit of time for myself, but I'm back, and I'm hoping to catch this video series up to reality over the next little bit and take us the rest of the way there. Thanks for watching.